Hi, welcome to Moo Moo Math. Today we're going to look at how to find the perimeter of an equilateral triangle. First, we're going to try the easy approach, which is we're just going to take 3 times S, where S is equal to the length of one side of an equilateral triangle. So if an equilateral triangle has a side of 4, we know that all three sides have to measure 4 because that's what an equilateral triangle is. It's a triangle with all four equal sides, so just 3 times 4 would give us 12. So the length of the perimeter would just simply be 12. Now let's try one that's a little bit harder. Let's say that we are not given the side. Let's say we're given the height. So let me draw that in. So here's the height of an equilateral triangle. I'm drawing that in green. And let's say that it is 6 and we have to find the perimeter. Well, in an equilateral triangle, we know that that altitude cuts the triangle in half and creates two 30, 60, 90 right triangles, where this 6 or this altitude is the longer leg. So I need to work from the long leg back to the short leg, and then I can double that to find this side. So let's say long leg is 6, and to go from 6 backwards, we're going to divide by the square root of 3, because that's the rule for 30, 60, 90s. And 6 divided by the square root of 3, we can rationalize that by multiplying by square root of 3 over square root of 3. And we end up with 6 root 3 over 3, which is equal to 2 square root 3. So that is the length of this portion of the side. Now we know that's half of the length of one side, so I'm going to take that and multiply it times 2, and that gives me 4 square root 3. So that means the side is 4 square root 3. Now I can apply my formula, which is perimeter is equal to 3 times s, where s is now 4 square root 3. So 3 times 4 square root 3 outside times outside gives me 12 square root 3. And that is how you would find the perimeter of an equilateral triangle given its altitude. Hope these two videos were helpful.